burning sodium. Attention! Sodium and potassium react violently with water and flammable hydrogen is formed. All of the used compounds can cause severe chemical burns on the skin and eyes. Sodium peroxide and potassium superoxide are oxidizers. I don't take any responsibility for damage done to persons or property caused by the recreation of this experiment. I recently remembered an old video uploaded by the user Nick Moore in which lithium was ignited in air, so I was wondering if sodium might react similar. Usually it is shown that it reacts with water and the hydrogen that is formed burns with a flame that has the typical yellow color. So I put a piece of sodium on a metal plate and heated it with a Bunsen burner until the reaction took place. What followed was for sure one of the most beautiful reactions I had seen. The sodium has reacted with the oxygen from the air to form a mixture of white sodium oxide and yellow sodium peroxide. Sodium peroxide is a strong oxidizer but is only present in small amounts due to the low concentration of oxygen in the air. This can be shown by reacting the mixture with cotton wool. By adding water to the mixture it could be shown that residual sodium was still present. The sodium peroxide reacts to form sodium hydroxide and hydrogen peroxide. Due to the heat of the reaction some of the hydrogen peroxide decomposes and oxygen is released. Then I was wondering if potassium might react similar. In the beginning the reaction looked the same but then it spread out and the reaction with the oxygen from the air could not be sustained. Potassium reacts with the air to form a mixture of potassium superoxide and peroxide. Even further heating did not lead to a reaction that was similar to sodium. This was the reaction of sodium with oxygen from the air. I hope you enjoyed, please rate and comment. If you want to see the reaction between sodium and bromine you can watch my video here or you can watch my latest video here. A big thanks to my supporters on Patreon.